What's up to all my YouTube followers? You guys are the real heroes because I don't post shit on here. It's all sporadic, but I mean, I'm trying. I'm trying. It's fucking hard media to use. I gotta have an editing thing. It's just a fucking thing. Anyway, let's talk about the track. If you're new here, me and my buddy Rusty Van Ranch have been building this monstrosity of a trike. Let's just go through it one piece at a time. Wheelbarrow, front wheel, custom space. I mean, everything on this is custom, but spacers, uh, custom springer, custom bars. Those are some fucking ape hangers. Uh, we just finished the skid plate tonight. This is a stop sign gas tank. Don't tell me about grind hard. I already know about those guys. Uh, and the uh, heart of this motor, or the heart of this monstrosity, is a Predator 670 uh, Harbor Freight engine. Um, these are just golf cart wheels. The rear section is a Harley Davidson trike rear section. Uh, the whole thing started off life as a tri sport, tri rod, a 1970s, it was pre four wheeler. So it was like the three wheelers of the day. I know I'm doing a terrible job filming. I'm sorry. Like I said, YouTube's hard. Anyway, started off life as that. Uh, the rear end of it was so fucked. Like the drivetrain was just so bad. <clears throat> we just decided to cut it out. Uh, we cut the whole rear section off of it. And we took the swing arm off of the Harley golf cart, which is this piece here. It goes just like that up through there. Um, and we just grafted it onto the front section. Uh, let's see here. That We did that because the, the golf cart has a rear differential and a CVT, and that's what we were planning on driving it with, um, a CVT. So it worked out perfectly. But we would have had to mount uh, the engine. We would have had to cut this all off and move the differential to the other side because the engine spins counterclockwise. And we didn't want to do that. We weren't really sure what we were going to do. Um, and then we came across this All Sport, which is the same, which is like the competitor to the Tri Sports. So it was one of these three wheelers. Um, we came across the transmission for it. So we have forward, neutral, and reverse gears. Now they're not functional like on a motorcycle or in a car or whatever. You have to shut the motor off to use it because back here we are driving it with a very large chain sprocket. So 60 chain, um, in order to gear the motor, this transmission spins at a two and a half to one ratio. So for every uh, two and a half turns here, we get one turn on the other side. And in order to make it a one-to-one -one ratio, so for every turn of the motor, we wanted one turn of the far shaft over there. Uh, we had to run this sprocket, which is a 30-tooth sprocket, and this is a 12-tooth sprocket. So that gives us a one-to-one -one ratio from motor to uh, transmission, I guess. That's the CVT side of the transmission. We'll walk over here. This, this was the old CVT we were using. This was, I think this was out of a snowmobile. Um, in any case, it only had a three quarter inch shaft. We modified it to fit that shaft because this shaft was tapered. Didn't work out as well as we wanted. So we scrapped that we went with this guy. This is out of a pulling tractor. Uh, it's out of a 16 horse pulling tractor. Now that's putting out 22 horsepower at idle. Um, so I was concerned that this wasn't going to have enough, uh, but after hearing what this pulling tractor used to pull, it used to pull like 3,500 pounds, um, I think it's going to be fine. So that will go on that shaft tomorrow. Um, yeah, we got the skid plate all finished up. This is our homemade electrical box. This will sit just like this. Now I have... A trike body it's a fiberglass tub it's sweet it's right out of the 70s it's exactly what you would imagine would go on this uh but we're painting it so it's not here it's not on so you're just gonna have to hang out i'm gonna do another youtube video when this build is all done i'll go through the entire thing um
you know, probably actually write shit out so that I'm not stumbling through this. But for now, we'll stumble through. You guys, most of you follow me on TikTok. So if you want to hear me just like not ramble on and just get through all the important information, go to my TikTok, Duddy2855, or check out my Instagram, Shovelpan69. Here's our battery. We've got an anti-gravity lithium-ion battery. I know they're trouble, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, custom exhaust. The exhaust comes out, loops around, goes to these cocktail shakers. I run a motorcycle shop. That's what that is doing here. Oops. That's what that is doing here. Um, so I have these just sitting around. So we modify them fit. This is an air cleaner off of a Triumph. Um, we made this little aluminum plate here. Uh, bolts to the stock intake and uh, then there is a aluminum sleeve in here that we put like a rubber hose uh, over and then a clamp and that slides right in there so that thing is fucking rock solid what else do we do custom uh, throttle cable and choke cable stays it's right there custom shit everything on this is custom we still have to put the fan. Ooh, we still have to put the fan shroud back on it. Um, we have to modify it because obviously we built these exhaust hangers uh, off of that, and that interferes with putting that exhaust or putting that fan shroud back on. But we'll get there. And for all of those who don't follow me on TikTok, if you're just following me on YouTube and you haven't heard this thing run yet, you're in for a treat. Hang on, here we go. Tell me that thing don't sound fucking banging. Oh. We got a little bit of tuning to do. Um, we're not really sure how it's going to, you know, take going down the road either. But we'll get there, uh, hopefully in the next two days. Um, the the body work and paint is going to take at least three, so we're thinking Saturday this will be going down the road with the fiberglass tub on it. But I think what we're going to do is use this. We're just going to sit in this, use the gas tank as a uh, like a backrest, and then take a uh, sheet of plywood and just kind of put it through our mounting holes here. So that we can't fall into anything, but we can ride this thing down the road because we're impatient as hell. And we really want to try this out. And I'm leaving for a motorcycle trip uh, on Saturday or Sunday. So I won't have time to sit around and wait for the paint to dry, uh, as they say. But other than that, that's the whole build. Uh, like I said, if you've been following me on YouTube um waiting for me to post videos thank you i appreciate it thanks for checking back leave a comment share it i'm really trying to get my view hours up and my uh my views up and i know posting obviously will fucking help that but you know i'm um, i'm a busy guy i'm a busy guy so yeah if you wouldn't mind share the shit out of it and uh hopefully it'll blow up on youtube and then i'll be forced to make videos about it on here long-winded videos and if not if you're really into motorcycles, I fucking do motorcycles too. I did not build this. Don't think this is the quality of craftsmanship you will get from me. This is all... I mean, I could do this, but that's a lot going on there. So, you guys, thanks for watching. Have a good one.